All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing advanced static analysis. And the reason why it is called advanced is because we're gonna be using Oli tools. And Oli tools is meant for analyzing malicious documents because it allows us to see the VBA macros. It gives us the indicators uh, inside of the VBA macros that tell us why this is bad and why it is malicious and all sorts of crazy stuff. But right now, um, make sure you guys still have the document or the malicious document and I hope you guys did not delete it so right now let's get right into it so uh, I forgot I mentioned one thing so if you guys want to zoom in which I should have done last video I don't know what I was thinking so right here you click this uh, these three lines right here and then I click the plus and there you go it's bigger but let me uh, actually yeah this is a good size for you guys right okay and uh, one more thing I forgot to mention a command that you should run for basic static analysis, it's really important. So you remember how we ran through the strings command right here? And we saw all of this uh, output right here. What if we don't wanna do that? What if we wanna look for a single word, right? So what I would do is I wanna look for the word uh, HTTPS. So I'm looking for websites, right? In some cases you may find it, in others you will not find anything at all. But let's try it out. So I'm only filtering for this word right here, HTTPS. And remember, I did the pipe right here. That symbol right here is a pipe, the line that going straight up. And then I did grep. That basically means I just want to see this word. And then HTTPS is the word I'm looking for. Let's click enter. And we did not find anything, and that's okay. So what if I remove the S and we found a word right here or um, a website? And it highlights a red for you too. You guys see that? And you guys can do this with other words as well. Let's try VBS. And we found uh, a malicious VBA uh, macro script right here. And yeah, just want to mention that to you guys. All right, now to the fun stuff. No more wasting any time. The first command you guys want to run is Oli Meta. So let's paste it in there. And uh, what this command does, uh, it gives you the metadata of the document, just like XF tool. But if you guys want, you guys can just use XF tool alone. You don't need to use this, but I just want to tell you guys that because I don't want to hide anything from you guys. So right now, let's click enter and what do we see so right now what we see is um let me make this smaller hold up i think i made it too big uh let's see let's see uh i think this is a good size yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys can see that so right now um the first thing that we see is uh usually you would see the author and then you see the title subject and then you see some comments but we don't see that in this case but we see the template remember it says normal dot dot m there's like two dots remember this dot and then a dot right here but remember i told you the m is macros remember i'm highlighting it right now the m the extension right here is dot m so m is macros and then we have uh create time 2015 and then last save time is also 2015 and then we have a uh, number of pages we have one and then number of words 51 and then we have number of letters our characters 291 and then security i don't know what that is but if you guys know what that is then uh, put it in the comments below and then we have uh, this part right here uh it says properties from the document summary information stream so we got uh let's see we got paragraphs right here then we have company i don't think anyone would be putting their company in there links underscore dirty false i don't know what that means maybe it is talking about like malicious links or dirty links I don't know but yeah so that is for the metadata so for the next command I want you guys to remember this command you have to write it down somewhere so um, the next command let me clear this uh, real quick and the next command is only ID and then uh, let's let me grab the name of the document uh, right here and then press enter then give it a second all right let me scroll up right here that's what the command looks like so nobody forgets and then uh we scroll down and what do we see so it gives us the file name and then uh it gives us the file format remember the file format is really important and in this case the file format as ms word 97 2003 document if the file format was different then some commands will not work so that is very important to understand and right now we have container format ole and then uh, we also have application name, Microsoft Office Word, and then properties, coded page. I'll skip that. But guys, right here, it gets really important. Remember, we're we are reading it side by side, right? 
So we have encrypted, right? And it says false. False meaning it is not it is not encrypted. And then we have risk right here. It means none. And for the description tab right here, the description, it says the file is not encrypted, which is a good thing. But we go down to the next one. It's in red. It's literally telling us VBA macros. And it says they're, yes, suspicious. So, and then it says the risk is high. And then under the, in the description, it says this file contains VBA macros. Suspicious keywords were found. So that is really bad, right? And then we're going to use Ola VBA to find those suspicious keywords and uh, other indicators. Remember, Oli, Oli Tools gives us the indicators as well. And a part of the Oli Tools uh, set is all these commands that we get. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using M Raptor. I don't know what that is, but yeah. And then another thing uh, you, you would usually look for is XML macros, but I'm not gonna be going over that. But then we have external relationships. This is also important. So this basically means that a file could be inside of a could be inside of the document, like another file, or like like pretend you have a exe embedded inside of a malicious document, right? That's basically what it means. External relationships. And right now it's zero. We don't see anything, but hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's see. So we gone through two commands, right? And hopefully we have an idea of what this document is, right? And so what you want to do is clear it. And for the next one, we want to look for the VBA script that is inside of it. We want to see all of it inside of one single page format, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running this command and this command is the most deadliest command, or maybe the command after the, uh, this one, the one I'm going to be showing you. All right, let me grab it real quick. Uh, all of VBA right here. Remember, I'm just copying and pasting it from my notepad. Feel free to pause it and uh, type it all out. So I'm gonna be clicking this command in three, two, one, go. And right now, what do we have? We have a huge box right here. And pay attention to this box right here, the whole thing that I highlighted. This literally gives us the indicators that it found within the VBA uh, macro script. So you guys don't have to go through it. And it highlights the suspicious keywords for you so let me give you an example so for the suspicious word kill right here we're going to look for that word kill right so i'm gonna scroll up and let's see if we can find the word uh, kill uh let me see let me see kill 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 yeah right here the word kill is in there and it highlights it red for us so we can see it and it's killing something but let's go up i'm gonna show you where it starts so it starts from here remember we go all the way up and and the uh, macro script starts from here and you go all the way down and then let's go back down all right so let's go back to the box so this box literally gives us the best information so the first information it always gives us is auto execute right so auto execute and then it, it shows a keyword auto open so auto open means that something is running in the background as soon as you enable macros this is what it means so it gives you the description it says right here runs when the word document is open so if i wanted to look for this word uh keyword right here auto open i can go up and then it would color code it for me so right here auto open right there so hopefully that makes sense the word the keywords that you see in here are color coded and let's see let's keep going so we have auto execute and then auto underscore open and then we have workbook underscore open remember remember the description tab gives you uh everything and then we have uh keywords uh i think this one says environment and it says may read system environment variables and then we have open and then it says may open a file write it says may write to a file if combined with open and it just shows you all the keywords and their definition and then we have kill right here it says may delete a file that's what kill means it doesn't mean anything else and then we have a uh, shell shell means may run an executable file or a system command and then let's see we have get object and then it gives you the definition right here and then right here i see something really suspicious user agent right and the definition is may download files from the internet so let's see let's go find user agent that word right there oh one thing so if you see the keyword right here uh in this column right here you're definitely going to see in the vb script so let's look for user agent I just want to mention that so it's easier for you guys to understand user agent where are you i think i skipped it did i hold up let me see i think i'm going too fast hold up user agent where are you uh i saw it before but 
I'm going crazy right now. Hold on, let me see. I think my terminal is on oh, mind. It's the right size. Some of these words uh, stretch out. Oh, right there, user agent. That was kind of hard to catch. And if we look right here, actually, let me make this. Yeah, this is really bad. Let me go full screen. Let me go full screen. Okay, there you go. Everything looks better. And then we see right here, user agent. And it says Modzilla 5.0, Macintosh, Intel. So Mac OS. And then it gives you the whole line right here. So what we know from uh, looking at the code is that there's a user agent string in there. And let's see. Actually, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to memorize this command right here because I need to show you something in a bit. But let me go over everything else. But let's see. So we have other things that are really suspicious. Uh, okay, chr. This command right here, what it does is it may attempt to obfuscate specific strings. So I would show you guys that in a bit. I'm gonna show you an example of that too. But let's see, we have system. It says may run an executable file or a system. Remember, you guys have to read the box. Remember the box. It'll tell you everything. And then base64 strings. So it says uh, right here. So if you guys don't know what base64 is, it is basically uh, encoding method where you just turn like plain text into um, something encrypted. That's what base64 does. And then um, we have IOC, we have indicators of compromise. We see IP addresses, right? And if I were to look for one of the IP addresses, it would be color coded green. So let's go up. And then right here, ping uh, this IP address right here. So you don't even need to know code. You just need to know like little pieces of the code to know that this is malicious. So right here, we are pinging this IP address right there and it's color coded uh, green. So yeah. So I hope that makes sense. Remember, look at the box, it will tell you everything. All right, so we got one more thing to go over in this part. We're gonna scroll up. I want you guys to see something. I notice a lot of um, characters are being separated. Like for example, uh, let me show you a good example. So a, like these words are being separated uh, by a plus symbol and a quotation mark. So if we look at the word right here, this full word, obviously the full word is shell or we can look at the another word right here script let's do script script is easier right and then we see that it's being separated by a quotation mark and a plus sign right and we see that all over the vba macro script right we see plus signs and quotation marks are separating these words right and i see something else chr is also separating words as well and what is chr it says um uh uh, may attempt to obfuscate uh, specific strings. So obfuscate means like to hide something. So obviously that's what this code is doing. It's hiding a lot of words and separating them. And I'm gonna be showing you an example of uh, what uh, what this uh, VBA macro script is doing when it comes to hiding. So let's go up, uh, let's see. So I wanna show you guys a good example of uh, crazy obfuscation. So I'm gonna find something easy for you guys. So you guys have a good understanding. Uh, where was it? I saw it somewhere around here. It was above user agent when we were looking at the code. Can I find it again? Uh, I saw it somewhere. It literally gave me a whole path and also the name of a malware that we should be looking for. Oh, right here. <laughs> I thought I was never gonna find it. So let's copy this whole thing. And let's paste it to a notepad. I'll explain it to you guys there. So right here, what do we see? So I'm just gonna remove this part right here because I don't care about that part. So it says file right here, right? And then we see equals and then C users and then we have it uh, being separated by quotation mark and a plus sign. So let's get rid of those two because we know that those two are separating the words, right? And then we have another quotation mark and a plus sign. So let's backspace that. And then now we have C users user app data local temp and then we have another quotation mark and then a plus symbol. So let's get rid of all three of these. And then we have an and symbol right here that we should also look for in the code. That's also separating the numbers and words. So let's get rid of these. And then what do we have here? So 444 dot, we have a dot, and then we have uh, CHR 101. So that is also uh, obfuscating a letter. And I'm gonna show you what letter that is. So let's remove the, this right here. And then we have and and then XE. So right here, let me remove this. So it says 444.chr101 and EXE. 
from here i'm guessing this word i mean this uh piece of text right here chr 101 is e it's equal to e because if we do e and then i remove this it says 444.exe and right here is something we should be looking out for so we should uh, know that 444.exe is something malicious so yeah remember i'm gonna actually let me just put that to the side minimize it but yeah you guys understand how these words are being separated and that is something attackers are using to fool the antivirus to bypass it so we see it all over the place so let me show you one more example and then i'll move on so let me i want i'm just trying to show you guys easy examples so right here um uh let's see so you see right here we see the word create you guys see that right create we see c and then plus r e a t e so you guys see that right but in this case right here we see the word so we have c and then uh create so put it together we get create and then we have o plus uh b j e c t and that makes object this feels like an english class for some reason but yeah you guys know what i mean but yeah we see it all over the place this is insane so i want you guys to realize what malicious code looks like when we were doing uh this type of stuff and all these separations but right now we're at the part where we have the hidden script and on the next command i'm going to show you or the next part is where we're going to deobfuscate it and i'm going to be using a command that would deobfuscate like majority of this stuff and give us a clear output and i hope you guys enjoy this part and i wish to see you to the next one